Kevin Cole Burley. It's Thursday, December 15th. This is News Nation Rush Hour. Let's get right to our top story today. Nearly two weeks after an intentional attack knocked out power for days for tens of thousands of people, investigators are still looking for who's responsible. And now federal regulators are calling for a nationwide review of all power grid security measures as fear is growing about potential future attacks and the vulnerability of America's power grid. News Nation Washington correspondent Evan Lambert is live. Evan, Regulators used News Nation exclusive reporting in this decision to launch a review. Nicole, when we started digging into this, we knew about North Carolina, but we didn't know about that larger vulnerability. And that is what regulators cited when they decided to further review security. We've seen in North Carolina recently, we've seen also. Uh, reports in the media and elsewhere of, of additional incidents. News Nation's exclusive reporting on the vulnerabilities of the power grid getting results, cited at Thursday's meeting of the federal energy regulators known as FERC, the panel voting to review standards for substations and whether beefed up security like HD surveillance cameras is needed. Um, I think it's a good idea and this is a good step of trying to reassess our existing physical security standards and whether uh, changes need to be made. The, the reality is um, physical security, we've seen a lot of different incidents um, over the last year. At the same time, in a News Nation TV exclusive, the top security official at the Department of Energy acknowledges a spike in suspicious incidents or attacks, like the one in North Carolina early this month. It's what sources say is the most concerning out of confirmed intrusions and service disruptions in North Carolina, Oregon, Washington, and Florida. Piyush Kumar says the department will use lessons learned in their review to better protect the system. You know, we provide physical security training um, and resources to the utilities out there. Um, and we want to make sure that we can evolve that training based on where the risk is headed. A News Nation review of Department of Energy data shows an alarming increase in acts of sabotage, vandalism, physical attacks, and suspicious actions targeting the power grid in dozens of states. This year through August, we counted 104 suspicious incidents, double the number for the same time period in 2021. Our reporting first revealed a federal law enforcement warning back in August about a, quote, suspected racially or ethnically motivated white supremacist sharing location information of 70,000 plus power substations in an online chat. It's possible some of the attacks are related to this call for chaos. Essentially encouraging people to attack these locations. Again, very specific information. Do you at the Department of Energy consider this domestic terrorism? You know, when we look at risks to critical infrastructure, they really do come in a lot of different forms, including potential acts by domestic extremists. The biggest concern, attacks on facilities where an outage could have catastrophic outcomes. Um, we want to make sure that uh, power is uh, available to communities, to hospitals, and really critical uh, um, services that everyone's reliant on. And so we need to harden the grid. We need to do that through everything we're doing. And regulators have 120 days to study multiple aspects of physical security for the power grid and bring that report back. Some did express concerns over the cost to secure 75,000 plus substations, but they say that they hope to use money from the bipartisan infrastructure law. Nicole? Yeah, because we certainly want to keep Americans safe. Okay, Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.